Hey there, this is Lindsay from Fit and Fabulous, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you all about carbs. So we're gonna be talking about the good carbs, we're gonna be talking about the bad carbs. I like to call them the fast digesting or the slow digesting carbs, okay? And at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna give you my top three carbs that I recommend and actually I personally use when I was competing as a bikini fitness model. So let's talk about carbs because I feel like carbs totally got a bad rap uh, it's been a while now, so it seems like everybody's just afraid to eat carbs basically all together. Seems like there's a lot of diets out there that have you restricting a lot of carbs. Most of them out there do have you restricting like a lot of processed food, which is good because they want you to eat more like natural, which is amazing. But I really want to dive in a little bit deeper as to what is considered kind of like a good carb versus, versus like a bad carb. So when we look at good carbs versus bad carbs, um, I guess you would consider the bad carbs something that digests really, really quickly into your system. So something that's processed, something that's quick and easy that you can kind of grab. Those are like those grab and go things that you can always get. And so something that you eat, say it's maybe a white piece of bread or something or toast that you eat. And basically when it goes into your digestive system, it breaks down really, really quickly. So what happens when this, so what happens when it breaks down really quickly is it breaks down into sugar and your blood sugar is gonna spike. So it spikes up and then you have a hormone, what's called insulin that comes in. And now if you're not being super active, like if you're not at the gym or if you're working out or maybe jogging or just being active altogether, what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna store it as fat in your body. So that is the bad carb or what's called like the fast digesting carb, okay? as compared to a good carb or a slow digesting carb, these are things that more so have like one ingredient to them. So they're more just like your fruits and vegetables, stuff that has a lot of fiber, a lot of water in it. So it takes your body a lot longer to actually digest. So this would be like broccoli and cauliflower and some of your fruits. Um, so those things are definitely gonna take a lot longer for your body to digest, okay? Now, is it important for us to have carbs? Totally, we totally need carbs for energy. We need carbs for the fiber because it, we need fiber so that we can actually poop every day. And we need it for our brains. I don't know about you, but I've been on a low carb diet before and I totally have not been able to think at all. It's like, you don't know where your keys are. You don't know where your wallet is. You're just like completely lost. So yes, we do need carbs. So what really considers a good carb compared to a bad carb? So there is um, what's called a glycemic index. So you can actually Google this and I can put a link down below so you guys can check that out as well. So the glycemic index is a rating from zero to 100. And so anything that's rated 100 on the scale, say like white bread, uh, breaks down really, really quickly in your system. Now there is a time and a place and you can use this to your advantage, which I will talk about a little bit later in this video, okay? So, but right now I just wanna talk about the glycemic index quickly. So anything that's rated kind of like 100, uh, again, breaks down really, really quick in your system and is gonna cause that blood sugar spike. So anything that's lower on the system, say like a one or a two or like all the way up to 10, 20, um, these things are a little bit lower on the GI, or on the GI index and so these are things that are gonna break down a lot slower in your digestive system. So these are gonna keep your blood sugar stabilized. So you're not gonna have the cravings. You're not gonna have like the energy crashes. So these again are the, the good carbs or that you're recommended to eat on a consistent basis. So that is what's called the uh, glycemic index. Now, when they created the glycemic index, they actually took 50 grams of carbs of whatever it is. So I always say it was white bread or it was lettuce or carrots or whatever. But the issue with this is to say with lettuce is that you actually needed like 68 heads of lettuce in order to get 50 grams of carbs. So it wasn't really accurate. So they have another system that you guys can actually check out as well. It's called the glycemic load. So the glycemic load actually takes into account um, a serving size of the carb that you're eating. So I'll put the link down below for you guys, but I just wanted to explain both of them because you're probably gonna see both of them uh, when you Google it. 
So if your guys are gonna go by any rating at all, I would definitely go by the glycemic load because again, that actually takes into consideration the serving size of whatever you're eating, okay? So for example, it was like carrots. Carrots were like, what was it? Like 30, 30 like baby carrots were like super high. It was like 70 something on the glycemic index. But then when you actually... Um, on the glycemic load, it was only literally like a, a six or something on the glycemic load. So it was really, really low because it actually took into account the serving size. And for watermelon, uh, example of watermelon was if you ate 50 grams of carbs of watermelon, it was literally like five cups of watermelon. So it would be say like a, a 72 on the glycemic index, but if we took into account serving size, which is really only like one cup, it was only like a 7.2 on the glycemic load, which is pretty low, so it was good. So those are two things that you guys can check out for sure. And again, I'm gonna put the, the link down below for you guys to check that out. Um, so if you, so how to use like good carbs versus I guess bad carbs or like fast digesting versus like slow digesting carbs to your advantage. So uh, throughout the day, say like for breakfast or dinner or anything like that, you consistently want to eat carbs that aren't going to spike your blood sugar. Because if you eat carbs that spike your blood sugar, it's going to create cravings. It's going to make you kind of moody. It's going to uh, make you hungrier more often just because like you're kind of like up and down throughout the day. So I would say stick to carbs that are basically um, fairly low on the glycemic load on a consistent basis. Now you can use carbs that are higher on the glycemic load or the glycemic index um, right before you're working out and right after you're working out. So if you're looking to basically build muscle, this is when you really want to kind of like fuel your workout. So you can take something like half hour to like an hour right before you work out. You basically kind of like pump up your muscles. You give them like a ton of energy so you can just go as hard as you can at the gym. And then right after, once you've basically depleted all that uh, all those carbs in your muscles, you want to replenish those so that they can build up and so you can actually get bigger and get better results. So you want to make sure that you're fueling yourself um, with these fast digesting carbs, basically like a half hour to like an hour after you work out as well. So that's when you can kind of use them to your advantage. Now, I was going to give you three carbs that actually I used when I was competing as a bikini fitness model um, on stage. So these were three carbs that I used on a consistent basis, basically right up until I was competing on stage. Now, so the first one is sweet potatoes. I still love sweet potatoes. I absolutely love roasted sweet potatoes. They are my absolute favorite, although you do have to watch because sometimes when you roast them, it actually brings out more of the sugar. So it can actually be almost not really too sweet, but, but it can definitely increase the sweetness of the sweet potato. But if you boil them, they don't taste as good, but they're still really good. And it's a really good carb for you. The second one is oatmeal. I love oatmeal. I never use like the instant oatmeal, like the pre, pre-sugared one, because there's just way too much sugar in there. And again, it's like one of those processed kind of like carbs. So you want to stay away from those. So I like to make oatmeal on the, on the stove and I like to sweeten it with protein powder. So usually I use chocolate protein powder in my oatmeal. It's like my absolute favorite. And the third one is brown rice. I ate a lot of brown rice when I was competing on stage. So those are the three carbs that I use on a consistent basis that you guys can try out for yourself. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to help you. All right, I hope you have a good day. Love you, bye.